Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scratch Programming and today we are on 11th topic of the Scratch Programming. Okay, and we are going to cover events block which is 6 blocks out of 10 blocks of the Scratch. Okay, so let's begin with it. This is our Scratch interface and this is event which is brown, which uh, all the blocks are in brown color. You see the first 3 blocks you are quite familiar with this because this uh, is a hat block which we have used many a times okay so you just see uh, for working uh, for making our script working we have these three options to start okay for example let's see this I want my sprite to rotate okay I can do this is my script and this is uh, these these two block will start working the moment I'll click on the green flag noticed now if I stop it and I want to make this script working when I press the space key or for sake any key which I select here okay so for now I select the space key and I will press it from my keyboard you just listen and it's working okay this is the other method of running the script and the last is when this sprite is click so I will click on the cat and the script will start working okay so I hope you are clear with the working of these three blocks okay so the next is switch to the backdrop when I will switch to the backdrop this will start working okay so let's say I choose this block and I choose by default I have chosen this uh, backdrop one okay when backdrop one is there I will press it and it, it will start working so it's not the difference is not visible right now I'll choose another backdrop uh, let's say let's say this okay now I have chosen blue sky I'll go back to the script area now I will go to the looks and switch to backdrop now if I press this it's not working when I press this it's not working it will work when these things will match when backdrop switches to backdrop one this will work or even if I click this it will work but I want my backdrop to have this value and I press this it will start working you got it now you see I just stop it and I choose backdrop one now the values are different I press this it will not work even if it will not work so these two things has to match now I'm not changing value from here but from here now backdrop one I press the space bar it will work backdrop is changed to white backdrop one and it is working so I hope this is also clear to you so first four blocks are clear to you okay now the next is next is very interesting block that is when loudness is more than this do these actions uh, students basically this is talking about the loudness of the microphone which is right now attached to my system and it is of a very good quality so it is even sensing the sound from nearby okay so when the volume basically this is a sensing block so you just see when I'm not speaking anything then also it is recognizing some value of the loudness got it now I will keep this value for let's say 80 I'm not attaching this because uh, I'm speaking so loudly it is sensing so easily it will start working now you just see I'll keep quiet for some time and it will not work the moment I'll speak loudly and the it will catch the value which is greater than 80 so it will start working you just notice it I'm speaking from a distance it's not able to catch the high volume now I'll bring my microphone close to my mouth and will speak bit loudly and you just keep your eye here it will show you the value which it will catch which will be bigger than 80 and it will start working start you saw it notice it, it just catch my vo uh, the loudest vo voice uh, which reaches to 100 value and it started working okay I hope 
you are clear with this the second option we are having here is timer timer again this is loudness so uh, i'm teaching you event block which is related to the sensing block so next is timer now my timer has already reached to 743 value so i will use this button reset so the moment it will cross let's say 15 value it will start working okay until it is uh, less than 15 it will not work you just see and here it is got it now if i'll give it for say let's say 45 value now i'll restart it it will start working after 45 value got it so this is how this timer works this is a sensing options now the last is video motion the moment i'll click this option it will start my web camera and it will catch the motion from outside okay from the camera and the moment i'll show some action here this script will start working okay so just give me a second so student it will catch the motion and it will start working got it so it just catches the motion so this is how this video motion works okay i hope you are clear very much clear with this this block okay so now let's see how this works now we are on this block which is another hat block which is saying when i receive this message then what it should do now i'll show you the working of this these blocks for this i need to take another sprite let's say i'll take this beetle okay okay now i want my cat to say something now let's see how this work when the space bar is clicked it will send a message it will say a new message see you later just hide now okay now it will say this message to the beetle now beetle will receive this message and will hide okay now i will press this uh, this uh, space bar and it will broadcast this message okay now my beetle will receive this message and it will hide okay now let's see got it now i will use another block when sprite is clicked let's say so now it want to say it want to say new message where where are you come back so this is the message now beetle will receive this message which which message where are you come back and it will appear okay now let's see when the sprite was clicked this message was sent to him to the beetle and beetle came back it is appearing now this uh, the message which we are sending here is not visible that it's not visible that the cat is saying this to the beetle and the beetle is receiving this this is an internal coding it these messages are being sent internally it's not appearing to us okay now let's say one more thing to the to the beetle it will say new message don't be angry let's play okay and beetle will be very happy to receive this message and this on receiving this message beetle will start dancing like this and like this okay so what is the message it's, it it is going to receive don't be angry let's play so and it will show also it will appear and this will happen now i'll press the space bar and beetle is dancing so this is how these three blocks work you learn the working of receiving the message and broadcasting and broadcasting until wait so it this is almost similar because like 
if I want to use this I can use this also I want to stop it it will just wait before uh, switching to another uh, next option it will complete its movement and then it will wait it just wait like uh, this we had this in sound play until done so it will complete the working of that particular um, blocks and then it will move to the next okay so i hope students you are very much clear with the functioning of these blocks how this works this is very uh, these three blocks are very very important for controlling the action of one sprite using the other sprite and the actions the whatever actions they are uh, using it's not even visible to the audience okay so students i hope you are very very much clear now let's revise it so you know when green flag is clicked the block starts everything off you know whatever script you have written will start with the green flag maximum time or you can use the other options okay you can use this uh, with the multiple scripts in your project so you can use as many green flags you want blocks are uh, these uh, even blocks are used for other user interactions such as keyboard keys being pressed or the stage or sprite being clicked so you just saw we had three option green flag uh, any keys pressed including spacebar or even the sprite is clicked so we had three options for uh, start starting or making our script working okay the third uh, top uh, third point is event events that are triggered by backdrop or costume changing okay we are switching the costume the event can happen if we are switching the backdrop even event can happen so you just saw that when we change uh, the backdrop okay and even you know that the volume is volume can control the motion uh, movement of the uh, working of the script or motion like i uh, used my hand and the timer also so these three uh, options are also available for triggering the uh, uh the scripts okay the next is blocks read into the message you saw that how we use the broadcast messages for uh, making the communication happen between the two scripts or the two sprites events are these blocks are useful for making script start both when the project is launched and while it is running okay so this was our events block i hope you liked it and you just practice it learn more and uh, do not forget to subscribe the channel hit the bell icon and if you have any doubt write your doubt in your in the comment section okay thank you so much